Hello Aries, thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your Tarot Zodiac forecast for whenever you clicked on the title when it intrigued you. We're going to, all decks have been pre-shuffled. We're going to start with the good tarot. On bottom of the deck we have you, Aries. The fool represent, Aries represents the fool. The magic of the magic cards. More magic in this card than the magician. The zero point field. What Pythagoras murdered over to keep secret was that zero in numerology being the magic of the magic. We have the Empress. You are stepping into the shoes of giving something, uh, birthing something, creating something. The sun, two major arcanas right off the top of the deck. The sun also represents Leo you may be dealing with, not necessarily. The energy is joy, a new path. And usually it's represented by a baby on a horse in the tarot decks. So it's like the beginning of a new cycle that is going to bring you a lot of joy. And you're birthing this. There's the magician. So now you've got the zero and the one. The magician, of course, is about manifestation. And you have the keys. Possibly, uh, Aries, if you're not in a relationship, you've been looking for someone who it's by the book. Someone who is more spiritual or more on your level. And you have the keys to manifest this now. Major Arcana. Major Arcana. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Virgo. Gemini. Leo, gosh, they're all showing up. You may be doing a balancing act right now. Maybe unsure as to... Sometimes this just means successful multitasking. But it could have to do with trying to keep a situation balanced. And we do not read the good tarot in reverse, though we do the other decks. This was not meant to read in the reverse at least not in my office. Five of Earth, feeling left out in the cold, but seeing your value, noticing that this value of, of yourself. You could have been in a situation where you felt left out in the cold. This is a very short-term um, experience for you, Aries. You know your value here. So now we've got another major arcana, the temptation. Maybe wanting to slide back into a situation you got out of. A behavior. A codependency. An addiction, an obsession. Here you are trying to manifest something new because you do have the keys, Aries. However, you may... You know how the devil always gets his pound of flesh first. It's like when you start seeing things, I don't know, blockages. They're blockages keeping you from the goal. Keep your eye on the goal. Could be dealing with an air sign, but this is you cutting out the things that do not belong in your life and having a passionate new beginning. Laying down your burden. So this may have something to do with the temptation. Needing to release. Now we've got the Ace of Earth. This brand new beginning will be lucrative for you. Joyful for you. Passionate for you. And self-nurturing. Taking care of yourself. First, Aries, putting yourself first. And it has everything to do with the heart of the reading. You cutting out the things that need to be cut out 
whether it's a person, a behavior, a place. Let's clarify this. Bottom of the deck. Oh, yeah, we had a tower moment. This would be considered past energy, but it's still affecting you, this tower moment that you had. Oh, dear. You want to birth something new, but you're dealing with dishonesty, shady behavior. Feeling stuck. Now, I think that was in reverse, but... I don't think you're going to stay stuck for long. And look at this. This is definitely in the reverse. Nine of Swords on the Magician. You are manifesting something. You are no longer going to allow to control your thoughts. This is you taking control of your thoughts to manifest what it is that you want. And what you want is an offer of love. And it's coming. It's coming. Um, Aries, be careful. You may be juggling, multitasking, perhaps to the point of being tired and cranky. So do be careful that your words are not too sharp. The sun in reverse on the five of pentacles. Now, even in reverse, the sun is still a good card. It just means a, a slight delay, if if any delay at all. But if there was any delay here to your joy, it is because you felt left out in the cold. But you are now seeing your value. And your value is bright. The temptation is to uh, delay transformation. Maybe slide back into an old behavior situation. That temptation is to not release what needs to be released. You have to make a call, a judgment call here, to release something. Goodness sakes, Taurus got uh, this message as well. Passionate new beginning are your hopes, dreams, and wishes. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, but we are in Aquarius season. So this may be indicating that you will have this passionate new beginning in Aquarius season. The chariot. As soon as you release what needs to be released, Aries, you will be moving very quickly forward. The priestess. So something's going to come along. Now, this is a blessing. This is actually a gift from the universe. And you're following your intuition. Something's going to niggle at you and say, I need to grab that opportunity. Because it is a blessing coming your way. Now, though I said that this was similar to uh, Taurus's read, Taurus had uh, some serious decisions that they needed to make. I'm not seeing that for you. I'm seeing that there is something you need to release that is blocking this abundance, this sun from coming in. And no doubt this blockage has something to do with someone maybe cheated you, was dishonest with you, uh, maybe stabbed you in the back, and it bloody hurt. But you are not going to let it control your thoughts. You are going to manifest your heart's desire. And this is some, this looks like someone new coming in. Perhaps. Perhaps it's not so much the person, but in order to fix a situation, 
someone needs to extend an olive branch and that could be you. Yes, strength. Putting yourself first is going to take some strength because it looks to me like you've been putting, maybe this is why you juggle, you've been putting others before yourself. No more Aries, take care of you. You are getting prepared to take off. And what I mean by taking off is this journey these mountains you're going to conquer you're in preparation for it ready to birth this but this thing that's hanging over your head of dishonesty someone cheated you probably made you feel devalued but that's not going to last oh jesus there's a tower again oh, something really hurt you Again, I see this as past energy, something that you're having trouble. Perhaps you had trouble. You're getting over it. You're getting over it. Whatever happened, whatever event took place that shook your world, you're in preparation mode for something new. Not necessarily a new person, but it could be. following your intuition to get you unstuck. This is, um, being stuck is it's something you can always get yourself out of. You just have to rip off the blindfold and see things for what they are. With the high priestess, it is you seeing things as they are, that there's something more going on than what you see on the surface. And here you are getting unstuck. You're not going to lose sleep over it. You're not going to let it hold you back. You are manifesting something new. Again, watch your tongue, Aries. Watch your tongue. Um, now, you have the keys to manifest what you want. This love offer, whether it's you or them, you may turn the offer down, but try to be compassionate. Try to, if you're turning down an offer, try to be compassionate when you do it. Collaboration. Yeah, this is a really watch your tongue there. But you are juggling something. You're helping someone out. And you may have some help coming in here. The Wheel of Fortune on the Sun. The universe is backing you. Now, this temptation could be a missed opportunity to make things right. It could be that if you've broken up with someone, if this was what happened, uh, you're not seeing the new love coming in because of the, this is what's blocking you, dwelling on the past. I don't see you missing the opportunity though, Aries. It shows you getting unstuck here. There's a reunion, a celebration. You're cutting out the things, making a judgment call and probably going out with friends. You are being divinely guided towards your lover for this passionate new beginning. Your hopes, dreams and wishing, wishes coming to fruition. Moving towards abundance. Um, moving very quickly towards abundance. It, whatever it is you need to release. Once that blockage is gone, you move very quickly towards it. And it, it, there's happiness, a sense of calm here, and a sense of abundance where before it was barren. Oh, my goodness. Moving very quickly towards this new beginning. 
things are going to be happening for you, Aries, in the next few days. Things are going to be happening. Clarity and communication. You're going to need strength. You're going to have to really watch your tongue. That when you speak or have to deal with a situation, that you do it with compassion. I'm going to take it to the extended reading now and open this up and see what's in your future for love. I hope you join us over there. There's lots of perks. So do check out the description. $10 gives you access to all of the Zodiacs and the afternoon delights. God bless you, Aries. I hope to see you on the other side. Bye for now.